two years ago, we told you a story about a Wilmington church asking the community to help rebuild their 60 year old pipe organ. Well, they did it with help from hundreds of people. We revisit the Episcopal Church of St. Andrew and Matthew for an update. Take a listen. The music fills the sanctuary of the Episcopal Church of St. Andrew and Matthew. Pipe organs tend to give the effect that the whole room is the organ. The 2,897 pipes represent the three parishes that now make up Sam. St. Matthew's and St. John's joined St. Andrew's when their parishes closed. Pipes from the three different parishes make up the organ you see today. I think all the people that were from those parishes sort of lament the fact that those don't exist anymore but at the same time, they're happy about this new incarnation of them. It all started five years ago when the church launched the Sharing Our Blessings campaign. The church needed money to not only renovate their kitchen, but also to restore their organ, which had seen better days. The kitchen to help us with our ministry with the community, the organ with our commitment to creative liturgies and being a center for music in the community. Campaign Chair Pat Saunders set out to raise more than $1.3 million. As of May 15th, Sam exceeded their goal by $100,000. This has been a truly roller coaster ride. And, we, and we've had really down moments and really up moments. I laid in bed many nights and wondered how we were going to get anything. In addition to grant money, Saunders says $100,000 was raised through sponsoring a pipe for the organ in honor of a loved one. When you hear the organ played and you have given a pipe for a loved one, that loved one is still with you in the music, in that sanctuary, in that space. In all, more than 450 people contributed, giving as little as $5 or as much as $200,000. Everybody gave what little they could, or a lot that they could, but they, together it has made the combination of this wonderful organ here today. The Catherine Esther Lee organ was dedicated in February. It's named after the well-known pediatrician, community leader, and longtime member of SAM. And there are still opportunities to sponsor a pipe in honor of a loved one. Go to SAM.org to find out how.